Hey, my Legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review a new movie that just was uh, premiered on Netflix called The Last Laugh. Now, I heard about The Last Laugh because I'm subscribed to their YouTube channel. They have, like, upcoming movies coming up towards the end of November, I think. And there was something with Chevy Chase, and I couldn't remember the name of it. And I looked it up a little bit later, and you saw the trailer for The Last Laugh. It was called Last Laugh, and it was about basically, you know, he said, I saw the trailer for it, and then he said it was going to, well, not the whole trailer. I don't, I usually don't like watching trailers for the most part because I think they give away too much of the movie. But, I mean, sometimes you end up watching them anyways in the theater or whatever. And, uh, they said it was going to premiere in January. I checked last week, and it wasn't on yet. And then I checked Friday, and it was on, but I didn't have a chance to watch it till today, Sunday, which I'm doing the review and putting up for Monday. And it revolves around Chevy Chase. And Chevy Chase was just in a movie. Uh, started with uh, Burt Reynolds in uh, his last movie called Last Movie Star, which was really good. I really liked that. I saw it on Amazon Prime. I saw it maybe like, I don't know, four or five months ago, I think. And uh, before his passing, of course. And uh, this one revolves around... And it's the first thing that starring Raw I've seen with Chevy Chase in a long time. I think the last time I seen a movie that he was starred in was Funny Money. I only watched about twenty minutes. I I didn't like it. I shut it off. I might give Funny Money another another try. I saw it in my sister's maybe. I, I might try see if I might like it again. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Well anyway, the first starring role I've seen was Chevy Chase in a long time. Except for well, Chris Vacation, we watched Chris Vacation again at Christmas time, but that's different. I saw it seen it years ago. And this revolves on him and he's watching this ad on a DVD for retirement home. And his granddaughter says maybe you should go to their dad. I mean granddad. And uh you know, I think it might be good for you and he's like I don't know. And he said, Well probably we'll at least go and look at the place And he said, Okay. And, uh, it's finally, he was a talent agent. You know, he was like for like comedians and stuff like that. And, uh, he goes to the retirement home and then and he said, well, here's the retirement. Here's the guy that usually guides everybody around the house and around the place. And it was, uh, Richard Dreyfus, And he was literally hyping it up, like coughing and hacking, but he's going around pretending to And you could tell he was faking it. And then he said, Hey, it's me. And it was one comedian that he had, he managed a long time ago that was about to get ready to go to Ed Sullivan Theater back in the '60s, and he quit on him. And then he and then he didn't hear anything from him until just going to the retirement home. And he said, "Well, how are the women here?" And he said, "They're pretty good." And then he ends up Chevy Chase ends up being there, and they talk about life there. And he's like, "I don't know if I can do this." And and they tell they tell some jokes. I mean, this is like. Uh, a sentimental type comedy. I think with the success of uh, that show, The Cool Kids, that they, uh, Netflix decided to get in and try to do something. This is the kind of movie that like George Burns would do back in the late 70s and 80s because uh, he was getting up there because he was worked up until he passed. Because I mean, he was he worked up, he was like age 100, I think. And, uh, And all of a sudden, uh, Richard Dreyfus was saying, like, well, why don't we go on the tour again? And we ain't going to do that. And they end up going on tour again. And he said he wants to try to get to be on The Tonight Show and stuff. So they left the nursing home, and they go on this road trip. And Chevy Chase said, yeah, I'll, I'll book you in Vegas and stuff like that. Well, it turned out being, like, a very small club, and it's called Paying Your Dues. And he was bummed out. He Put them in a small club. But all the clubs look pretty decent, but they're just small. You know, you have to refine your act and stuff like that. And about that and a road trip. And I liked the movie. I liked it real well. It didn't make me cry. Because sometimes these movies try to make you cry at the end. I didn't cry at anything like that. And um, I liked the movie. I laughed a little bit. There was a couple parts I laughed at that I thought were funny. Not anything. Uh, just them in, like, maybe in, in the nursing home somewhat. I, the biggest problem I had, I didn't think his stand-up was funny. Because they showed, they didn't show his stand-up that much. But when they did, it was only okay. 
it didn't make me laugh. I, I think the movie dragged in some parts, but otherwise, I really enjoyed it. I, I think it's a great time. Uh, I think Chevy Chase did a good job. It, it's kind of tough for me to really get behind Chevy Chase anymore because, you know, after in the 90s, I started finding out he's really a jerk, you know, behind uh, in real life. And I remember on... Uh, I mean, then that became public knowledge. He was, I didn't know that until like the 90s, like 95, 96. He started to come out that he was. But I guess they, that's been a thing for a long time. I was always a fan of his. And uh, I remember he was on uh, Politically Incorrect, and Stephen Bochco was on there who created like NYPD Blue. And he got into an argument with him, and then Bill Maher tried to settle it and stuff like that. But Chevy Chase totally started, and he even said that. And, uh, you know, I think maybe Chevy Chase is trying to get back in good graces or something like that. Making a movie start. I think it's really good. Uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I laughed a little bit. George Wallace is in there, which is cool. And also, Louis Black. And these are not spoilers because they say it right at the beginning if you watch the credits. And also, Chevy Chase was able to land Andy McDowell pretty easily. Uh, not, not Malcolm McDowell. Andy McDowell who starred in that movie Green Card, which I hated. But, you know, he, they, it's not too bad. Right? I mean, real easy, too. Um, it's about the road trip and about getting to this certain point and stuff, and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it dragged a little bit, and I didn't think his stand-up was very funny. That's my only real gripe with it. But other than that, I really enjoyed it. I give it an 8 out of 10. I think you will, too. Oh, cool. Thanks so much for saving so much. Oh, you're welcome. Someone commented, uh, I did that video about how to fix a problem on your uh, on the Spectrum uh, cable box when there's no sound. And someone said they saved, thank you, saved so much time. Oh, you're welcome. So I hope you like this video. 8 out of 10 for the last laugh. It just premiered on Netflix. And I'm going to put this up tomorrow. I'm doing this right around like 7 minutes to 8 o'clock at night on Sunday. And I'm going to put this up at 6 o'clock tomorrow. And um, I really liked the video, and I hope you liked this review, everybody. I don't give away spoilers. You know, I didn't cry. I ain't like that. You know, they, some of you, some of they're trying to get you to cry and stuff. Didn't happen this time. But I really enjoyed the movie. I think you will, too. So until next time, bye, please. Take care, my legion.